We got good number. We do. We got reception. Hey. All right, you guys. Here I am with little Pooh. He's a pistol. He's very friendly. He's a miniature donkey. He already likes peanuts. He doesn't know I'm here to trim his feet yet. That's the key, right? My tools are um, stuffed in my boot. All I've been doing is giving this little turkey some peanuts. Uh, I haven't done much yet at all, so I'm gonna let you guys tune in. Here he comes, or everybody's coming on. Um, uh-huh, he likes peanuts. How did I know? So, all right, as always, you guys, I start out with, um, I'm just gonna be his friend right now. So now I wanna see what I can do as far as touching his little body. I haven't touched him yet. Let's see. I'll always start with some ear rubs if they'll do it. Oh my goodness, he's doing it. And then I'm gonna run my hands down his back. I'm gonna see if I can do a booty scratch. Oh, yeah, I can. Oh, my goodness. Big booty. He got big booty. Come to his shoulder. Maybe give him another peanut. I do have a halter and lead rope. I haven't decided if I'm going to use it yet. Yes, I am. What? Are you a good boy? You are, aren't you? All right, come here. <laughs> we'll see. Look at that booty, scratching it. He likes that. So he's a friendly donkey, you guys. This is way different than working with a BLM donkey or um, a donkey that's not um, used to the touch of people. He, this little guy lives where uh, people come and, and have little farm stays and stuff. So, I mean, he is not scared of people. But he has got himself into trouble. Okay, so now I'm going to push him over just a little bit, so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. And now, coming to his shoulder, and I'm going to touch his front legs all the way down to his toes. Good job. Look at how good he's being. I'm wondering if... Now, as soon as I went to kind of pick it up, you see him move on me, right? Come back to the shoulder. Good boy. Now that I'm starting to touch his legs, can you see that he's getting a little more, just a little bit more. He's trying to move away from me a little bit. I'm asking for his front hook. Oh, good boy. He's starting to drop his head on me too and put it down on the ground. I don't exactly know what that means, but it tends to be like when they get a little bit like, oh no, I don't want to do this type thing. I'm going to pop a halter on him real quick. Little buddy. What are you doing? Are you ready to be such a good boy today? You ready to turn over a new leaf? Yeah. He says I am. I'm ready, ma'am. Okay. So, the reason why I'm gonna go ahead and halt him this first time is because I would like to have a little bit more control of his head and his movement. He already gave me a tail swish. As soon as I put this halter on him, he's already tail swishing on me. Come into his shoulder, run my arms, my hands down, always open hands. I'm going to lightly squeeze and hmm. Now, we know he does good with his fronts, so I'm gonna pick out this front foot. Again, notice the lead rope's loose, you guys. It just helps me control his head a little bit, and if I have control of his head, we're gonna have a better experience. I'm just gonna pop right in and trim this one. Now he's going for my pockets. And you know what, I think he's right. He's being pretty good. I guess he does get another peanut. Oh my God. Sometimes they're the ones training me, right? <laughs> Yeah. And his little front feet are going to come together really fast. Yeah. He's 
turning his head away from me. I'm going to wait. He came back. If he kept going, I would have bumped him back to me. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, sir. That was so good. Oh, my goodness. Very good job, sir. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna do. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to start attempting to touch his hind leg here. So you guys can see pretty good. I'm gonna, remember I can use a lead rope on my hip to kind of turn his head. I want his head slightly turned to me because if I need to move him in a circle to take his hind end and send it that way away from me. All right, here we go, poofs. I'm gonna start with a booty scratch. See if I can get a tail lift. Yeah, I'm touching all the way down to his hock. So far, so good. Touching down his cannon bone to his pastern. Oh my goodness, I'm even touching his whole little hoof capsule here. Well, let's see. Now I'm gonna ask for it. I'm gonna lightly squeeze, and I just wanna see it rock like that. OMG, what a good boy. Another peanut is in order. All right. Now, again, my hands are always open on this rope. I've got his head slightly turned towards me, kind of laying over my hip. I want his head turned in. Can you guys see how he's looking at me? Good job, Poos. Now, I heard that you didn't like to have your hind feet done. Do you think I can help you with that today? Do you think I can help you with that today? Oh my goodness. What a champion. Donkey. Okay, guys. Thank you, sir. Another peanut for being so good. All right, well, I'm just going to get to it. So far, he's being really great. Now, one thing I did here that he had a hard time with his hind feet but I did not come in scared or worried about the fact that he might hurt me. I know that I have uh, techniques you know, and an approach and a way of keeping myself safe if he was feeling like he wanted to be a little stinkmeister, right? Um, so my energy level and the way I'm being around him is not, I'm not afraid. This was an overgrown hoof here. I am going to potentially switch the camera for the other side. So a lot of my colleagues have used what I just showed you, which is peanuts, uh, doing a little bit of a meet and greet, uh, making friends first, being very clear, uh, calm, etc. Because we just, we got one hind foot down already. Listen, I thought you were going to give everybody a show. <laughs> you little stinker. What have you been pulling one over on the farrier for how long? For how long have you been... Pulling one over. Huh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I don't have anybody here with me to be reading comments and all that, so uh, I'll take a look at them all later. I'm gonna attempt to move you guys with me. <laughs> I have the lead rope laid over his neck now. I'm gonna give him an I'm gonna pick up this foot again so that you guys can kind of see it. Look at that! Oh my goodness, what in the world? <laughs> Hi, buddy. You wanna say hi to the people? <laughs> now he's coming back to me. That may be because I have treats. And it may be because I'm nice and I give him booty scratches. Oh, 
Is that why? Did you get that? Because you, you have 35 people watching you right now, Poos. You might have to start your own channel. Let's see. You want to come with me again, Poos? Huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. What a doll. Okay. Let's move in a circle, Mr. Poos. Thank you so much, little sir. Come here. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna now let's get his little booty over for you guys. Good boy. Good boy. The extra time I'm taking today with him will pay off uh, tremendously. I will probably never have to be this uh, shoving this many treats in his face, etc. So we got a nice little booty scratch. He's relatively relaxed. Again, I want to lightly turn his head. Here it comes towards me. And you know what? I'm thinking as soon as he turns his head towards me, I'm gonna, now he did a little spin. That's okay. This foot is pretty distorted. The most distorted out of all of them. My hands are open, you guys. Notice I talk about this a lot, open hands all the way down to his hock, through his cannon bone. Okay, look it, my hands are open. Don't grasp, especially my colleagues. You guys don't, um, don't grasp. Good boy. Or like, don't hold tight. There it is. Now, he's being really good like that. So I'm gonna give him another peanut. Oh, thank you, little sir. Oh my goodness, look at you. You see all this length on that toe? Watch it go, here we go. I'm offering him a lot of trust. I want him to trust me. So I'm saying, hey, I'm going to trust you. Right? See how this works? And the fact, now he's wanting to pull back a little bit. I'm going to give him a second to think about it. Okay. Oh, my goodness. What a stink, Meister McGee. How long have you been pulling one off, huh? That's just uh, part of the clip in there. We're going to, uh, <clears throat> I got more work to do. But I think, I think he needs another peanut. You're gonna look so good. You're gonna have little feet, happy little feet, okay? You're gonna see, you're gonna feel a lot better. Yeah, see what I did right there? No, oh, you see that. <laughs> so I'm gonna come back. Notice again, I'm holding with one finger. I'm going to lightly press his hoof capsule uh, against the side of my boot because I need to hold it a little tighter while I use my hoof knife. Right? Because I don't want to grasp the hook with my hands, but that helps me hold it a little better. Now, I'm going, I want to, we're going to turn his booty just towards the camera. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Of course he moves. Notice I can kind of use my forearm to lightly stable, stabilize the hoof for me. Now see his head is turned the opposite way. That's not what I want. I want to talk him back in to coming around to me. And if you're limber enough, you're gonna hold the foot and then administer a peanut 
It's like when you drop a quarter in the slot. Okay. Now, pressed against my cap. Well, sorry guys, I thought this little boy was maybe gonna be a bit wilder, but he is uh, <laughs> not being wild at all. See how that toe, this toe was really pointing into the medial side, so I'm gonna nip that around that side just a little bit, checking for balance. He's higher over here. He's turning his head away from me again. It's only going to take, I don't know, probably only one more trim or so. To... Well, you guys, look at that. Do I know how to rasp? I don't even know if I know how to rasp. Okay. I'm being silly. Okay, well, Poos, you were supposed to give the people a show. You were supposed to give the people a show. I love you. Yeah. You're being such a wee little gentleman. So, he's being so good. We're gonna try popping the foot forward um, like this. Sir, don't forget. Good boy. Puss. Doo -doo. Brr. Hey. See if I can talk to him. No poo poos. Come here. <laughs> this is a really fun move, you guys. Hold the hind foot forward and get them to turn for the peanut or whatever treat you got. I want to try to do this because his medial toe was really flaring in. And if I can dress this outer hoop wall, sorry, outer, hoop wall is always outer. If I can dress this hoop wall here on the medial side a little bit, it, uh, it was a functional trim, but now I make it more a little bit aesthetically pleasing. Because it's being so good. There we go. Do the stanky leg. in. Boy, I hope you guys enjoyed this because we're just about done trimming his last foot right now. Not every session is like this, you guys. Sometimes it's, it's much more challenging. But again, uh, Poos is not afraid of people. And that's where my advantage really lies. Because if he was more shy, then his owners would have to be doing things to, you know, help him feel more confident around people. And Poos is looking for a BFF, I heard. He's going to get a, a donkey companion. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be double trouble, Poos. It's going to be double trouble. about rasping and uh, I realized I didn't have like a specific video you want to have the rasp moving before it hits the hoof so you don't want the rasp on the hoof you want it moving before it hits the hoof like that okay just FYI all right please I'm calling your mom I'm telling her what you did today Telling her that you have been being a total stinker, fooling everybody for how long? He's done, you guys. His trim is over. Come over here and put your adorable face. Now, had he been more resistant, I would have been doing the same things, turning his head towards me, picking up the foot, uh, putting it down picking up the foot, putting it down, right? It would have been the same thing, just in smaller steps.
But uh, Poos and I just uh, started off our, uh, our relationship together. <laughs> and he just did. Oh, and see, your little foot works better now, don't it? Does your little foot work better? Whoop. <laughs> okay, guys, want to see how cute it is when we take a peanut? So, if you guys want to tune in, I'm going to possibly run another live video at my next stop. I'm working with a six-month-old um, mule. It's his going to be his first trim. i got to ask his mom if I can do it. But um, uh, he's six months old, mule, never had a trim. I'm going to be his first farrier experience, which I love, love, love getting to be the first farrier. So, okay, thanks, you guys, for tuning in. When I get home later today, I'll go through the comments and see if I can answer any questions. Thanks. Bye.